Hello everyone! Good morning, good morning, and welcome back here at La Arnis Kitchen and Food Creations. This morning, I am going to show you in a very, very easy type of uh, cooking, and so let's come and uh, join with me as I'm going to show you uh, on how to prepare stuff. So I'm, I'll be using fish, and this kind of fish was given by our friend Jerome and Eileen, and this is in the family of salmon. This fish kind is a rainbow trout. So I took out the head of the fish and the intestines and clean it thoroughly and wash it, and then I will uh, pat it to dry. So I'll pat it to dry and then uh, seasoned it with salt and pepper. So I'll be adding salt here. And then black pepper. Beautiful. And then I will flip this. There you go. Here in this little corner, I'll be using Dato Puti. It's a brand of uh, Sukang Maasim. So that's spicy vinegar with some spices at the bottom of it. You can use white vinegar. You can also use lemon if you don't have vinegar. So a little bit of soy sauce and I will uh, fr pan fry that with oil. So I'm using the canola oil. Whatever oil you have in your pan to available, simply go ahead so okay I will start uh, frying our fish until our fish will become golden brown Okay, dear lovely friends, once the fish is uh, golden brown, wow, it's, this is really beautiful. So, I have to flip this, flip this, and once this is done, I have to put this into my paper towel for the excess oil to be taken out or to be drained. So, your fire or you, your heat you just have it um, medium slow medium heat do you lovely friends our fish it's almost done it will take uh, two minutes at least then I have to drain that using my paper towel so what are the very very basic ingredients that we have I'll be squeezing lemon, nice fresh, fresh lemon. If you don't have lemon, as what I've said, you can use vinegar or the white vinegar. Okay? You can use lime or a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I'll be sauteing this with nice lots of chopped garlic. And then after that, this chopped onions. Look at these little onions. And then towards the ends, I will be garnishing that with the, uh, this kind of onions. Like same onions, but the way I slice it, uh, more on round. I'll be adding also this uh, laurel leaf or bay leaf or dahonang laurel and some black peppercorns. So I'll be adding brown sugar, soy sauce, and... Uh, sukang maasim or vinegar because I am going to make fish steak this kind of cooking very very easy to make and I intend this cooking to a good friend of mine mom Beth um, my colleague back home so this is for you mom Beth Marin um, Bumagat so I hope you will have fun uh, trying my recipe very very easy to follow and of course to all of my Facebook friends okay lovely friends our fish is nicely done done look at that beautiful so I'll put that into my uh, plate so that's our fishy <laughs> So, dear friends, I'm using same pot, but I'll have to take out some oil. 
okay there you go so i'll have to start sauteing my uh, my garlic here into my cooking pot until my garlic will become slightly golden brown I love spices. I love lots of garlic, lots of onions. <laughs> okay, next I'll have to add my uh, chopped onions here. Lots of chopped onions. Then give a good stir. Beautiful, beautiful. So there you go. And I'm going to add my daho ng L'Oreal or bay leaves. So remember friends, different cooks, they have their own different styles in cooking. I'll be adding uh, suka or vinegar a little bit. And then soy sauce. Soy sauce or toyo. You can use any brand. I will be adding my squeezed lemon. You can use limoncito or lemon. So I will add a little bit of uh, toyo. There you go, give a good stir. And then I will add my brown sugar. You can use uh, white sugar if you have. Beautiful. And my uh, black peppercorns. Nice. Okay, there you go. And partly I will be adding my uh, sliced onions. So that this will become uh, wilted or uh, infused to our spices. Beautiful. A little bit. Okay, nice. Then after that, my lovely friends, I have to put back my fish. There you go, lovely friends. So I put back my fried fishes and then I'll have to give a good flip and let the sauce absorb into our fish. Very, very easy to make. And shout out to all my Facebook friends and of course the friends of my friends. So I hope you will have a good try for this. Any fish will do or tuna or tangige or kingfish tangige or whatever fish you have available in um in your in your refrigerator so i will just add some of a uh, wonderful uh, onions there you go and thank you thank you very much for watching la arnie's kitchen and food creations as always i love to share my simple foods that i feed for my family have a great day and uh, thank you and stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen i love you guys thank you the